All right, today we'll be talking about permutations specifically of the instance of repetitions, permutations with repetitions, and circular permutations. Okay. Okay, now the permutations with repetitions are you take the amount of objects and you do the n factorial on top, and then you divide by, let's say you have two things that are repeating, you divide that by that factorial, and same thing here, the Q factorial. Now sometimes you might have just one, sometimes you might have two repetitions, sometimes you might have three. Whatever it is, all of the repetitions go on the bottom in the denominator. So for example, my name is Devani. Now if I already rearrange my letters, if you notice, I have E's that are repeating. So let's say that this was E1, and this was E2, okay, and if I had those two letters that are like. So if I did the permutations, okay, I would have 7 factorial on top, okay, which, by the way, 7 factorial, let's see, real fast, this is just 5,040, but I have two repeating letters, okay, so how many possible different uh, unique words could I actually make that sometimes they won't make any sense but sometimes they will okay and so I would divide that by two factorial because there's two repeating letters okay All right and that would turn into let me see let's divide it by two factorial okay which is 2520 okay now a lot of people will make mistakes with this and just go, oh, you know, I, 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 I just get 5,040. But you have to remember that you have two objects that are like in there. Okay. All right. Now circular permutations are if you're sitting around in a circle. You know, the usual situation where you have yourself actually uh, moving around a table. Uh, sitting in distinct spots okay now sometimes I get bored and I'll sit and think about this stuff when we're actually sitting around working with a group of people and you're sitting at a table now the table doesn't actually have to be circular but you have to understand is that you can actually move around the actual numbers okay so straightforward uh, it's going to be n factorial or n minus 1 factorial on there. Now the reason why it is this is because we could actually rotate this an eighth of a turn each time. We could rotate it eight times and have the same combination uh, or the same permutation. So there's going to be this just represents one eighth. So if I move the two and the three obviously this is a different permutation and this order matters but there's going to be eight distinct ways to do this because if I rotate this if I rotate each letter about uh, counter wait, wait, two, clockwise if I rotate it just clockwise not counterclockwise uh, I'm going to have it so there's actually one of the eighths one eighth of them okay and we're going to times that by our usual uh, eight permutation. Now, if we write that out, obviously uh, we're going to have eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one, and then we divide that by an eighth, or just we not divide by an eighth, but divide by eight. Okay all we're left with is 7 factorial and so that's where this formula actually comes from so it doesn't matter which formula you use just as long as you understand that there are going to be 5,040 possible combinations for this and the reason is because of the rotation factor there are eight distinct rotations that would still fit this permutation but because of that we actually have to divide by those eight because I don't want all eight I just want that one for this one combination of one through eight. Okay. All right, and that's it for repetitions and circular permutations. Uh, the only thing I would say that might be trouble is with the P and Q, the objects that are like. Just understand that two different E's do, even though they're the same letter, they do count as distinct different letters. Okay. And circular permutations. Just remember to divide, to do the n factorial, obviously, but then to divide by the n. That is the hugest part, okay?
All right, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.